What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another transfer daily vid for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about Edouard Mendy. We're going to round off Thiago Silva and Ben Chilwell because we all know we're literally just waiting for them to sign the contract. We know Thiago Silva, the medical is going to be happening tomorrow. But we're going to start with Lionel Messi and... We're going to talk about both sides on this because everyone's talking about Messi right now. Everyone's talking about, is he actually going to leave Barcelona? If he leaves Barcelona, who's he going to? And literally every football club has put their name in the hat. Some for jokes, some genuinely being serious. But every team has basically registered their interest for Lionel Messi. So we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Lionel Messi to Chelsea. Yes, there are some cons, but the pros massively outweigh the cons before you lot start butchering me in the comment section. So, before I start this video, you already know what time it is. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and press the bell notification button as well to be the first to know whenever I release any new content on this channel. Because content is coming thick and fast, man. I'm doing double uploads now with the amount of news that's coming out with Chelsea. But every time I do a video... Half the time another news update pops in or another player's been linked with or another player's going to be coming into a medical and we're doing the madness this year. So there's going to be plenty of content coming out on this channel the way Chelsea are moving. So press that bell notification bar to be the first to know whenever any more content comes out. Now let's go straight into the messy uh, out of Barcelona rumours. I was about to say Messi to Chelsea, but that's nowhere near confirmed. And strong rumours have been spreading over the last few days that Lionel Messi does want to leave Barcelona. He's looked very unsettled there over the last season. And there's been rumours of Messi losing interest over the last couple seasons with Barcelona's embarrassing eliminations out of the Champions League. We'll talk about the 3-0 against Juventus in 2017, the bottle job at Roma in 2018, the bottle job at Anfield in 2018, 2019 and it all came into a head this year the first year in 12 seasons where Barcelona have failed to win a trophy and it all got put to death at Bayern Munich as well where they got absolutely slapped 8-2 in a game that was such a battering I actually felt less bad for the way we got knocked out against Bayern Munich because 7-1 on aggregate compared to 8-2 on aggregate with the most experienced side in the Roman Abramovich era not even that deep to be to be honest especially when that was the team that eventually went on to win the champions league i'm not even going to be that arsed about it we move on it's a learning curve for the players it is what it is but messi now wants to leave barcelona he's allegedly tried to activate a clause in his contract that would allow him to leave on a free transfer and I will say there's not a lot of development in the story past that. Apparently Barca are now looking to sack Bartomeu, or I hope I didn't butcher his name. But they've been beefing there over the last year or so. And that's been a big reason for why Lionel Messi wants to leave the club as well. Because he's had issues with the board. But yes, this is a very raw story. All we know is that Lionel Messi does look like he wants to leave Barcelona. I don't even think his sacking is going to make much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. And to be honest, for Messi's legacy... I'd say it's a pretty good move for him. Everyone's been saying the one if about Lionel Messi is can he do it in another league? Can he do it in a cold Thursday night in Stoke? I mean, now Stoke's releg relegated. It's probably going to be a cold Thursday night in Burnley. But the point still stands. The big what if with Lionel Messi has been can he do it at another club? And if he wants to leave and go to another league and dominate it, that will just stamp his legacy down. Even if it is already there as the best player of all time. Or if you want to be controversial in a top three or something like that. But Lionel Messi going to another league is, is the best thing for him. So even if it's not Chelsea, I'm hoping he does it. Just because I want to see it for myself. I want to see how Messi adapts to a new league. I want to see how he dominates it and I want to see how he tears it apart. But everyone from Manchester City to Vancouver Whitecaps have put their name in the hat and said they want to try and get Lionel Messi if the offer's there. So let's talk about Lionel Messi. Messi to Chelsea. Could this legitimately happen? Now, I do think he needs a new challenge. And everyone's always questioned about whether he can do it in another league. But the first thing I want to say is that it's very unlikely for Chelsea to sign him. It would be a huge luxury signing from Chelsea to do it. Especially with all the transfer activity that we've had this season. The amount of reinforcements we put towards our attack. 
it would be a massive surprise if we added Lionel Messi. And the first thing I'll say is, if Lionel Messi wants to join Chelsea, no one's going to say no. The club's not going to say no. The board's not going to say no. Players ain't going to say no. No fans are going to say no either. Well, there's a small minority who say no. And to be honest, I get some of their points. But same way, Lionel Messi, if he wants to join Chelsea, I don't care who gets benched. I really don't because Lionel Messi is literally game changing. That would turn us from a team that right now I think would comfortably sit in third place to title contenders straight up. Messi also joining would be amazing for the Chelsea brand. Imagine the shirt sales that we would sell. All the Messi fans who have been following Barcelona for years would just come straight to Chelsea. I get it's a little bit plastic, but it's still good for the Chelsea brand and that will still bring in more fans regardless because we have the best player in the world on our team. Uh, my only thing is, I don't really know how much we would push for it, especially compared to the intensity that some other clubs might push for it, and that's because of our transfer activity. We've done so much in reinforcements into our attack. Are we going to get, are we going to go and add Lionel Messi to it, or are we going to really, really push for Lionel Messi? I'm not so sure. I would like to see us try, but I also think it's a case of we'd only push with that intensity if Lionel Messi wanted to join with near enough the same intensity as well. Another thing is also Lionel Messi's wages. He's earning over 600k a week at Barcelona right now, and he'll probably take a pay cut to wherever club he joins, unless it's some oil money club like PSG or Man City. I don't think Chelsea would pay him the same wages. I think he'd have to take a pay cut. Regardless, he'd still be the highest paid player in our squad by a mile. I don't think that's a problem anyway because Lionel Messi does warrant those sorts of wages. His performances more than justify those sorts of wages. He is game changing. But with the amount of additions that we made to our attack, can we afford those wages? Or would we pursue it as intense with the same amount of intensity as other clubs? I'm really not that sure. I'm thinking if you're going to tell me what club I think he's going to go to, I hate to say it, but I'd have to say Manchester City. Everything looks really set up there for him. He's got there's all the resources. They can pay him whatever the hell he wants. There's the style of play, which he's very similar to. And there's also his relationships with Pep Guardiola and Sergio Aguero as well. So if he's going to any club, I'm thinking it's Manchester City. But I'm really hoping if there is any sort of chance that he could go to Chelsea let's do it because i know a lot of clubs are in for him i know if these rumors are true even more clubs are going to be in for him so this is one that we're just gonna have to see as it develops but i would like to see messi at chelsea i'm not saying no i'm just weighing up the pros and cons of either transfer so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below second piece of news and Rennes have rejected an initial 60 million offer for Eduard Mendy and Chelsea are still in the hunt for another goalkeeper we're trying to look for competition for Kepa and Eduard Mendy has been someone that Christoph Lollishon has mentioned very highly in recent interviews he said that he's mature he said in his opinion he's the best goalkeeper in France and he's been a huge fan of his size he's six foot four and tall and that's been also a reason why he wasn't really that keen on Kepa when he initially joined the club. Christoph Lollishon has always been a big fan of tall goalkeepers because they're strong in the air, they're dominant and they command their box well. Kepa has literally been the complete opposite and if the first season didn't really justify Christoph's opinions, the second season has just fully justified stamped it and he's put the tweet out saying I told you all. Um, I don't know enough about him to say that he's going to be a significant upgrade on Kepa but it's the aerial ability that he already has on him and he's already commanding in his box. I think he's one of the most commanding in League 1. I've seen the stats, but I don't really remember them off the top of my head. It does feel like a stopgap signing if we sign Eduard Mendy because tw I think 20, 25 million is the max that we should be pushing for. But I just want to see us get competition for Kepa in any sort of sense. I think with Kepa, he's got very more comfortable in his position. I think he's also had troubles with his girlfriend, which is why outside of pitch issues has impacted his performances on the pitch as well. But if we go into next season with just Kepa and Capiero again, I don't even really care about the additions that we do or anything like that. We're still going to have a hole in our defence. We're still going to we're, we're going to look basically like Liverpool 17-18 when they signed Van Dijk and they still had Lloris Carrius costing them games. There's still a great team, but there's another hole in it. So I'd like to see us get another goalkeeper. The fact that Christoph Lollishon speaks highly of him is enough for me right now because Christoph Lollishon has a great eye for goalkeepers. 
Andy was a bit right with Kepa too, so you've got to take his word on it on this one. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Um, last piece of news is just Thiago Silva, and that his medical is going to be tomorrow. Ben Chilwell, I think, was meant to be announced today or tomorrow as well. I'm not sure. It really is a waiting game with Silva, Chilwell, and Havertz because we know these deals are happening. It's just they haven't been announced yet. I think Kai Havertz is meant to be on a plane to London today. I'm not even so sure about that, but I know half of Chelsea Twitter are going to be checking flights to try and figure out which one he's on. We're just waiting for these news to be delivered soon, and I think Thiago Silva will probably be the first to be announced, but I bet this is just some free thing where they want to announce all three of them at the same time because it's decent for their branding rights or something like that. But we're just going to have to wait and see. We know Silva's done. We know Chilwell's done. We know Habit's done. So it's just a waiting game with those three. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my points. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And we'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. Up the Chelsea.